You're good. Hey everybody, it's me, Jared Gwines. Today I have an unboxing and review of the brand new 2019 Icon Mag Strike re-release. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fastest firing nerf blaster ever. That's stock from the factory, of course. Guys, it is the Icon series. What is it? It's 1969, 2019, 50 years of nerf, and nerf has decided to re-release some of their most iconic blasters. Now you guys have already seen my stampede video and if you haven't I hope you take a minute to watch it. Today we're talking about the Mag Strike and the Mag Strike was originally released by Nerf all the way back in 2007. In fact the official name is the Mag Strike AS10. Now for the Icon re-release they ditched the whole AS10 thing. They're just calling it the Mag Strike. Now, today in the video, I'm going to show you the original 2007 release and the new Icon series re release that is 12 years later. And I think one of the big questions that we need to get to the bottom of today is do they do any performance improvements? Did they do any sort of uh, redesigns or different elements? And really, is the 2019 version of the Mag Strike worth the money? and better than the original 2007 release. So for those of you not familiar with the Mag Strike, it uses a proprietary tin dart clip that goes right into the top like this. Now, the Mag Strike is extremely unique in that it's air powered. So you have to pressurize an air cylinder in the back of the blaster about 25 or 30 pumps just to fire this blaster once. But whenever you pull the trigger, it's gonna let loose all 10 darts in approximately one second. And no bone stock blaster from Hasbro has ever fired as fast as the Mag Strike does. Now guys, back in 2007, this blaster was released as a Target exclusive. And how fitting, I guess, that 12 years later, it's once again a Target exclusive. Big difference though, in 2007, this blaster had a retail price of $19.99. 12 years later, the price is now $39.99. Guys, let's open up the new Icon Series Blaster and see exactly what you're gonna get. Included in the box is the Icon Mag Strike Blaster, the proprietary 10 round magazine, 10 of the Icon Elite Darts, and the instructions. Now guys, real quick, I'm gonna assume that you've already watched my other videos, and if you haven't, please do. It really makes me feel better when I go to sleep at night. But uh, you're gonna know about these Icon Darts, and these Icon Darts are unique in the world of Nerf, and that you can only get these little guys with the Icon Blasters. They haven't been given away any other way. They haven't been sold any other way. They're not sold separately. They're not sold in a little package. Uh, these are Icon Series darts, and they're unique to the three Icon Series blasters being released exclusively in the United States at Target, aka Target. All right, guys, now side-by-side -side comparison of the 2007 Mag Strike, which is right here on the top, and the 2019 Icon Mag Strike, which is here on the bottom, now, at first glance, these are going to be approximately the same, and they are, that's true. But if you look closer, you'll see that there are several differences. Of course, uh, this brand new one's going to have bright, shiny yellow and orange, uh, whereas there might be a little bit different shade of yellow here on the top one, and of course the old orange has faded in 12 years. But also, you can see that the new one's going to have the Icon Series logo printed on it, and the original one, of course, would not. Also, there's a difference in the original InStrike logo there from 2007 and the new InStrike Elite logo here. Now, InStrike Elite didn't actually come out till 2012, so they're using a 2012 logo on a 2019 re-release of a 2007 blaster, if you guys are still following me here. Um, also, there are some other differences, uh, specifically in the magazine. And you could see the original magazine shape and pay attention there to the indention on the right-hand side and how you could see those darts. And I want you to look here at the 2019 design. And when you see them here in the same frame, you can easily see that there's certainly a difference between one and two. Now, what is the difference? We're gonna find out. Does one perform better than the other? Are they cross compatible? Um, I'm not for sure, but let's flip these blasters over and make sure we're not missing anything on the other side. Now, looking on the back side, you'll notice that the original 2007 version also had the original InStrike logo on it. Now, the 2019 version just has no logo at all. They didn't even print it. So over on the other side, they have the 2012 Elite logo, uh, but there is no printing on the back side of the 2019 version. 
Uh, the paint's approximately the same, although some of the diameters and exact dimensions have obviously changed to accommodate the two different uh, magazine designs. And also you'll notice that the handle here and on both sides is a bright silver that sort of matches the other deco on the blaster. Whereas in uh, 2007, it was this sort of like darker, more industrial gray. So I do think that the 2019 version aesthetically looks a little bit better, but really the question guys here that all matters is, uh, is one far better than the other in terms of performance? So I think that we should put the 2019 magazine in the 2007 version and the 2007 magazine in the 2019 version. And let's just play with those real quick and see what happens. All right, guys, this is the 2019 Icon Mag Strike, and it comes with this new Mag Strike magazine. And it's a little bit different than the original. Now you'll notice we can put this right in and it's gonna go in easy, easy, no problem. Goes in, comes out. Now, when you take the 2007 Mag Strike magazine, it also will go right in to the 2019 version. So it goes in and out, no problem. So I just want to confirm here officially that the 2019 Mag Strike will accept the 2007 magazine or the new 2019 magazine that it comes with, obviously. Now, guys, the same cannot be said for the original 2007 version. Now, of course, its magazine that it came with does, of course, fit into it in and out, no problem. But when you take the 2019 Icon magazine that comes with a new version, it won't fit. And you can see right here, the darts are sticking out too far and you just can't get this thing in there. So if you had some dreams of uh, getting the new 2019 version and getting a lot of these and stocking up, um, it's not gonna work. So even though the 2019 version will take both uh, versions of the magazine, the 2007 version certainly won't. And there's definitely a big difference in the top of both these blasters. Let's look at them side by side. All right, so looking at the left, you're gonna see the 2007 version and on the right is the 2019 version. And while to the naked eye here, it may look exactly the same, if you pay attention on the 2019 version here on the right, you can see there's a good half an inch, if not three quarters of an inch more of diameter space for that magazine to go into. So it's just much taller. In fact, when you're lining them up here, you'll see that they're actually different sizes. So the one on the right, the 2019 version, is actually a little bit larger than the original 2007 version. Uh, also inside, you're gonna notice some differences if you can get in there. On the 27 version, you'll see those ratchets there. Uh, on the inside of the left, you see all those little like ladder ratchets. And here on the right in the 2019 version, those have been omitted. So I wonder if this will make the exact same sound that the Max Strike is famous for making that loud sort of machine gun kind of sound when you're firing it off. I think we're about to find out. All right, so there's no way around it. For you to pump up this thing, you gotta get to work. And I know it might look funny on YouTube, YouTube viewers, and you can go ahead and leave a comment if you want to. But that's the thing about the Max Strike is you gotta pump it up. But 25 or 30 pumps in there. <sighs> and I gotta say there, just doing it, I'm a grown man, if that's not obvious from the video, but you younger nerfers out there really might have some trouble getting this thing pumped up to maximum PSI because it takes some sincere arm strength to be able to get it done. Let's fire this and see what happens. Okay, real quick too, because I know someone's gonna ask this in the comment. How do you know that you're not over pressurizing this thing? How do you know when you're pumped up to the max? There's no gauge or PSI indicator like some of those super soakers in the 90s had, if you guys remember the CPS series. But whenever you are fully pumped up and you pump it one more time, if you listen, listen. What that is, is there's a release valve in here that's keeping it from going up over the max. So whenever you get to the maximum possible pressure in the air cylinder, it will literally uh, blow off a little bit of the pressure to keep it from blowing up. All right, guys, we're gonna fire the 2019 Icon Series Max Strike. All right, 2007 version, it's the same story. We're going to town. We're getting our workout in today, guys. We're just pumping this thing up and going. And here's the thing too, if you didn't realize this, you have to do this every single time you wanna fire the mag strike. You gotta pump it all the way up. So this is absolutely not practical in almost any kind of Nerf war ever because you're gonna fire all 10 darts in one second spend a minute picking them up and reloading, and then you have to pump 30 times just to shoot it one more time. So this is a gimmick blaster if there ever was one, but boy is it fun. All right, firing the original 2007 Max Strike AS-10. Woo! 
Ooh, I like those dots coming out. All right, guys, here is the 2007 Max Right magazine inside the 2019 Icon re-release. And you can see it goes right in. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna fire it just to make sure it all works. Here we go, it's already pressurized. It definitely works. So reverse compatibility from 2007 to 2019, but not reverse compatibility from 2019 to 2007. Uh, I kind of don't get it. So definitely the 2019 version is a safe way to go because that magazine uh, is gonna do well for you. But uh, you can't just buy a bunch of these 2019s and put them into your original 2007 blaster because it's literally not gonna fit the magazine. I think what I wanna see now is two things. Number one, I wanna see a side-by-side -side firing comparison of this, so we'll see if we can't slow that down for you guys so you can really take a look at it. And then uh, we could try to put this thing through a chronograph and just see how hard it shoots. All right, guys, here's a side-by-side -side firing test with the 2019 Icon Max Strike in my left hand and the 2007 Max Strike AS10 in my right hand. Here we go. So guys, what I'm finding here from side-by-side -side, uh, firing comparison is definitely the Icon is a little bit faster. And now does that mean that it's newly engineered or you know much better? Maybe. It also could be that this is 12 years newer. So there's you know worn components in the 2007 version, of course there is. Um, so we're not really sure uh, if this is just you know pound for pound better, but I'm telling you firing one and the other in the same uh, moment that this one is at least 10, if not 15% faster. 2019 version. All right, this is a chrono test of the original 2007 Mag Strike. And full disclosure, I don't even know if this is gonna work. All right, that obviously didn't work last time. So now we're gonna shoot just one dart out and see if that'll work. Here's a single shot out of the 2019 Icon Mag Strike. Right, final thoughts on the Icon Mag Strike. So guys, um, this is my first time ever firing this blaster and uh, special thanks to TJ for lending me the 2007 version that I used in this video. Um, there's nothing quite like it and it's extremely exciting the first time you pull that trigger and all 10 of those darts let loose just flying down. It's fun, but there's just no way around it. There's nothing practical about this blaster. Uh, it uses a very specific magazine system that you can only get by purchasing this blaster. Um, you have to painstakingly reload it and more obviously painstakingly prime it, which takes 25 to 30 pumps just to fire once. So maybe there's a specific nerf game type where this would be cool. Maybe this is just like, you know, your last ditch effort to save you from a horde of zombies coming to get you in some game or something. Um, but there's just nothing practical about reloading or priming this thing to fire. Uh, with that said though, um, I do think it's really fun and it's completely different than any of the other Nerf blasters that are in the market today. Uh, across Nerf history, and we're looking back over decades, there have been sporadically different air powered blasters. The biggest of which you guys remember is the original Titan shot the big missiles. Um, so there have been air powered Nerf blasters throughout uh, the years. But there certainly hasn't been an air-powered Nerf Blaster uh, anytime in recent memory. Uh, and this is a really unique one because it just gives you that 10 dart, one second burst. It almost feels like a finishing move or some sort of like, you know, Gundam, you know, final blow where like you just unleash all the weapons. And that's sort of like what the Mag Strike is, is like, you know, just a big, tremendous burst of energy with 10 darts. So. You know, when it originally came out, it was $19.99. There was variations of this blaster that were blue. There were some that were red. There was some packaged with dark tag darts, some tagged with whistler darts. This one comes with elite darts. So there's been a lot of different variations of the Max Strike over the years. Uh, should you rush out to Target and dish out $39.99 for the Icon Max Strike? That just depends on you and your budget and, and also what you're interested in. It only has one tack rail on the front. If you put anything on the tack rail, you can't be able to look through it anyways because as soon as you start firing, the magazine comes up and you couldn't see through it. So any sort of scope or laser sight or literally anything that you put on the tack rail is going to be just about pointless because this huge magazine just comes up as you fire. 
Uh, and also these things are uh, delicate. There have been reports out there that if you over pump them too many times or keep the pressure too high, that you can damage the seals. So you do have to be kind of careful um, when you're firing this thing and pumping it up. So the final word on this, at least for me, is yeah, I wanna own it. I think that uh, it's really neat, it's fun. You give it to any kid and let them fire it and they think that this is the coolest one because of the noise it makes and because of how fast it shoots. Uh, but for me as an adult nerfer, not practical at all for any of the sort of game types or battle types that I've ever been a part of, um, even the epic nerf battle. Um, I would not want to pump this up 30 times to shoot 10 darts in a second. I just wouldn't want to do it. Um, but I do think that it's neat that they brought it back. I hope that, you know, the Icon series is just the tip of the spear and that we continue to see more fun re-releases in, uh, in the years to come. I hope this isn't just a one-time only 50th anniversary thing. I hope that this continues and that Nerf continues to consider bringing back some of their best blasters of all time. And I'd like to continue to know from you guys, which blaster would you like to see re-release as a part of the Icon series? Guys, if you want this blaster, you can pick it up exclusively in the United States at Target for a retail price of $39.99. It comes with 10 of those Icon darts. Um, I don't know where it might be in the rest of the world. So for those of my international viewers, and there's lots of you guys from uh, Australia and Europe and everywhere else, I'm not sure when or if you'll be able to get this blaster in the Icon format. And as always, guys, uh, this is a non-monetized channel. I don't even know if you're aware of that, that you didn't see an ad while you're watching this video. It's because I don't run them because there is no monetization on my channel. I might be one of the only YouTubers who produces content at this level that does it for zero monetization. Uh, why do I do it? Because I love you guys and I'm really trying to reach my dream of 100,000 subscribers. So if I could just get even 10% of the people who watch this video to hit the subscribe button, it would go a long way. So please, if you could, I don't want a penny from you. I don't want you to hit my Patreon or anything like that. I don't want anything from you except for a sub. So if you could subscribe to this video, I'd really appreciate it. Now, if you want to win your own Mag Strike, I will pick one lucky winner 30 days from today. So that's going to be on uh, September 4th, 2019. I'll announce the winner on my Instagram. And if you're not following me over there, you should. Uh, Jared Gwines, it's easy to find, same name as my channel. Um, I will announce a winner in 30 days who has liked this video, subscribed to my channel, and left a comment down below. So you have to do those three. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I will pick one of you guys at random anywhere in the world and send you a brand new Icon Mag Strike just like you saw in this video. So as usual guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you staying with me this long. Uh, I'm on the road to 100,000. Lots of cool Nerf news and exciting adventures coming right around the corner. You're going to love it. See you soon and be epic. This is Jared Gwine saying, have an epic day. <laughs> okay. This is Jared Gwine saying, hop off the turf and shoot some Nerf. This is Jared Gwines coming to you to say, don't watch the Smurfs, shoot some Nerfs. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jared Gwines saying, you can do anything if you believe in yourself. <laughs> Until next time, this is Jared Gwines reminding you to be epic.